everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone from a very, very hot day in Southern Alberta again. We still have gotten no rain. And right now it is just after 12 o'clock and it is, I think it's like 32 degrees Celsius, which is probably over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, I would imagine, but it is still really, really hot here. We are just not getting a break or getting any rain for that matter. So um, our air conditioning actually crapped out. Sorry if you can hear the dog's toys. Cove is playing with her toy, but our air conditioning wasn't working. We got back before we left to go um, on our trip to Swift Current to see our daughter's wedding. Um, it had froze up. So we actually turned it off for a day or two because Zoe, my other daughter, was home watching the dogs and taking care of the house. And um, she had turned it back on on Sunday because again, it's just, it's so hot here that, you know, by the time the day was done and all of the frost has disappeared it was just ready to turn it back on and she turned it back on and we noticed once again that it just wasn't cooling off there was no cold air blowing so i had phoned we our air conditioning our air conditioner is brand new like we just got it last year so it's definitely still under warranty so we had called them or i had called them this morning and said look our air conditioning isn't working properly it seems to be working properly it's not freezing up or anything but it's not blowing any cold air so she had said to first check the furnace filter because that might be replaced and second of all to clean off the air conditioner take a hose to it and clean it because that could also prevent um, air getting into it in order for it to run efficiently so you guys i i worked this morning from 7 until 12 so i decided when i got home that i would take out the furnace filter and get a new one because i do have to go to town today look look at this you guys this is disgusting and i even have like asthma and allergies this is our furnace filter now that side doesn't look too too bad yeah it's dirty but you guys i'm even embarrassed to show this look look at that it is absolutely caked and it is absolutely disgusting so i'm going to town today i'm going to be getting a new furnace filter um jimmy gets off today at four o'clock Jimmy gets off work today at four o'clock. So when he comes home, he is going to change the, the furnace filter, rinse it off with the hose outside. He's gonna wash out the air conditioner, like rinse it off with the hose like they told us to do. And hopefully that'll be the problem because I feel like that was definitely a blockage for the air conditioner not to work. So hopefully, fingers crossed that that is the problem. If not, I will definitely call them back tomorrow or even today to get a service call out here. Um, but they just wanted to try to make, do those two things first. And to be honest, the furnace filter should have been changed. I need to mark it on my calendar because we haven't changed it since we got it. And that has been just over a year. And she had said, you're supposed to change it every three to six months. So, <laughs> My bad, but I am going to be doing that today. I'm gonna to take you along with a full day of eating. Today is a protein spurring modified fast day today. So if you guys have watched my video on what I plan on doing in order to get back down to my goal, get back on track, is I'm going to be doing alternate days with protein spurring modified fast days, along with my keto days, three protein spurring modified fast days, three keto days. Sunday is always going to be a keto refeed day. That doesn't mean that you can have whatever you want. It's just higher macros, just to kind of switch up your body and get it working more efficiently. Um, we had just gotten back, today is Wednesday when I'm recording this. We got back on Monday from our lovely vacation, mini vacation for our daughter's wedding. I will post that video here if you haven't seen that video, but I did do two days of keto eating for that weekend. Stayed on track, weighed myself, did not gain anything, didn't lose any. I am holding the same pretty much from when I ended my chicken wing fast. So this morning I was 150.8, so I'm happy with that considering we were away from home for two days. Sorry, Cove is playing with her toy. Are you playing with your toy? Are you? See, all the dogs, whenever I start talking to one of the dogs, then they all have to kind of join in because they get jealous. So, anyways, I was really, really happy with not gaining anything considering, you know what I mean? You're traveling, you're sitting in a car, you're eating things, eating out, 
you know, I'm happy with staying the same. So this is going to be a start. Actually, yesterday I ended up having a keto day again, um, just because I had nothing prepared. So today is a protein sparing modified fast day, like I just said. And I do have a couple meals that I am going to be having, and I prepped one of them last night, which you will see later in the video, or maybe right away, depending. Um, but first off, I am going to. I only had a Bang Energy drink to drink this morning. It's kind of a dirty fast, but I'm going to have my first meal right now before I head into town with Zoe. So let me show you what I'm having. But I am going to make some protein sparing modified fast. French toast and that is going to be my first meal that I'm having it is 1233 I'm going to eat this and then I'm also going to take something with me so let's prepare our protein sparing modified fast meal for number one and I'm gonna apologize to begin with for the lighting I um, I really am kind of on a time crunch today to go to town um, so I do want to get this first meal and show you guys what I've been doing for my uh, protein sparing modified fast days. Um, I have made this before. First what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray my pan while it heats up a little bit with this spray. And then what you're going to need is three eggs and what I'm going to do with the eggs is I'm going to use a whole egg and then the whites out of two eggs. But make sure you're keeping all of your yolks. And what we are going to do is add some cinnamon to this. I like lots of cinnamon. This is our yolks. We're gonna keep that in the fridge for tomorrow. I like lots of cinnamon. And then just mix it all up like you would your regular eggs. Don't add any heavy whipping cream, no milk, nothing else to this. What you're gonna do is just dip your protein sparing modified fast bread. I have two well, two and a half slices, because this last slice isn't very big. This little tiny one. And then you're just gonna do it just like you would regular bread. Dip it in your egg mixture. Put it in your frying pan. And you're just gonna cook it up just like you would regular French toast with regular bread. And while my French toast is um, cooking, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna take with me. So I made this up last night and it is some keto chow. You guys know how much I love keto chow. And the good thing about this is you can add your fat source. So it is technically a protein shake. Um, normally on keto you would add, well I add heavy whipping cream to this in order for it to fit my macros for a keto day. But today I'm having it with my unsweetened coconut milk. I use the brand Silk and I put a cup and a half in with my strawberry keto chow and that is what I'm going to have on my way to town. Um, once again, I'm gonna try to, once again, I'm gonna try to eat my meals like um, definitely by the time I get home, I'll have my second meal. And just so that my fasting can start like six o'clock at the latest and then I don't have to fast like too, too long for tomorrow. I've been trying to fast. It varies from day to day, but I usually have been trying to um, intermittent fast for 16 or 18 hours between my meals. So that gives me a six hour eating window or an eight hour eating window. And that's what I've been doing. I haven't really stuck to one or the other. It just kind of whenever it works out as far as the hours. So that is what I'm going to be taking with me. My French toast is all done. And what I'm gonna put on it is, I'm just gonna drizzle some of the caramel, the Walden Farms. Um, this has zero everything. I know it's not like the best to be using, but um, I need to have something on my French toast. So I'm just gonna put this and drizzle this on all of them. And then that is going to be my meal number one. All right, you guys, this is it. This is going to be my meal number one. And I'm also going to be taking my strawberry keto chow with me as well too. All right, so I am going to eat this and then I'm off to town. So I will catch you guys when I have my next meal. You guys are new here. We have chickens. I always say this part because I haven't shown you guys the chickens in a while. And I have Aries. No, stay out. Okay, and I have good news is I think they are both laying again because 
I know for sure Sunshine, the black and white one, is Lane for sure, but I think Yolk is too. Her eggs are a little bit darker than Sunshine's, but let's see if they have any eggs. Hello, girls. No, Yolk, you gotta stay. Yes, hello. Hi, girls. Hi, Yolkster. How's the Yolkster? This is Yolk. And we've had her for about two years, and we um, handled her for ever since she was two days old. Sorry. So she comes to her name, and she follows us everywhere. She comes to greet us all the time, and she's just she's just our girl. She's just our girl. She loves the pets and everything. This one here, we actually got her last year and we got her later on she was probably like six months when we got her so she is still skittish around us um <laughs> hello sunshine yes i'm talking about you but she is absolutely beautiful she's never pecked us or nothing like that but she just is skittish she won't let us pet her or anything like that um but she's one of our girls she's our laying girl let's see if there's any eggs oh we have one yeah, I think this one, or not sunshines, I think this one is yolks because yolks are a little bit darker. I'll show you once I get inside, but um, there's only one there today, so hopefully it's yolk. Hey, girl. I know, you're, you've are you been laying constantly. Yeah, you get loud sometimes, too. Bad. So this it's one so here... Strong. It's really hard to tell on camera. I'll show you. See, look yeah. at it next to a regular egg. So the one on the left is normally the size of eggs that we get from our chickens. And this one actually Zoe got while we were away, but I feel like that's maybe yolks. And there's but it's stuff light enough. on it. Look at this one, Zoe. It sounds like a rooster. Look. That one's big. These ones are sunshines. She like lays the lighter colored ones, but this one, these ones are yolks. So. Sunshine on mounts still. Yeah, that's crazy. That's huge. That's got to be a double yolk. that one compared to this one. <laughs> that is a little it's baby so one. It's so tiny. It's a little baby. I didn't even realize. Egg. That's so cute though. They keep for longer when they are at room temperature. Um, for the farm fresh eggs, so we just keep them in this basket here by the sink. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a lot more and the basket will be full. That would be really nice. Yeah. All right, I am back home and I ended up having um, my supper and everything for the day. Um, I did not eat my protein shake because I forgot to take it, but that's all right. I'm probably gonna have that tomorrow, I think, when I do my day of eating. It is a keto day, but um, it's really really thick as well, too So I think I might be able to eat it as like a pudding. It looks so good um, But I forgot to take it today So what I'm going to try to make is I am going to make Maria Emerge's angel food cake today And I am going to make the strawberry angel food cake now. I have her um, Cookbook that she has on her website for sale. It is the art of fat loss highly recommend uh, purchasing purchasing it it has a lot a lot of good recipes on it so I will have that link down below to her website but this recipe is coming out of her cookbook so I am going to make it super super easy recipe which I love about this protein sparing modified fast bread cakes desserts love it all because it's all really really simple so let's get started and make that all right, so I have preheated my oven to 350. Now I am going to be doing my angel food cake in two smaller loaf pans because I do not have um, an angel food cake pan yet. So that's what I'm going to be using. So my timings might be a little bit different, but I am going to put 360 grams of egg whites because that equals 12 egg whites. Each egg white is 30 grams on average. So I am going to use 360 grams of my carton egg whites. I just get these at Costco. So I put my bowl here on my measuring um, scale. You're going to want to put in some cream of tartar and we need two teaspoons of cream of tartar. And while we are getting the other ingredients together, we are going to whip this. So now I'm adding all the dry ingredients together. I mixed one cup of my egg white protein powder and one cup of my powdered swerve. And then after that, I added my strawberry extract, which was two teaspoons. 
And then after my egg whites were all stiffened up, then what I did is I just folded in my powdered dry ingredients in with my egg white mixture. And then I put them into two loaf pans. Now I oiled these pans really, really well on the um, inside so that it wouldn't stick. And then I just evenly put in um, my mixture in both. So that is it. Really, really simple, easy recipe and definitely turned out with the angel food cake consistency. After they were all done, they were perfectly golden brown. And that angel food cake was really, really good. So for that angel food cake, I put them in loaf pans. And what I did, if you do try this um, out of Maria Emmerich's um, book that she has for sale on her website, what I did is I did it 350 degrees for 20 minutes, 320 for 10 minutes, and then I left it in the oven for 30 minutes um, with the oven turned off. And that is what I did for the loaves. They turned out so, so good, you guys. I did have a slice today. And they're gonna be perfect like um, for either or days, right? So like on my keto days or on my PSMF um, days. Really, really good. So definitely I need to make another loaf as well too um, of the white bread because I'm all out of that. So I've been going through, it's about a week and a half that um, a loaf lasts me. Um, this recipe took a lot of my egg white powder though. I probably wouldn't make it um, again. It does have 12 larger slices, so I'm gonna freeze half of it and um, you know, just keep the other half probably for my um, protein spring modified fast days for the upcoming days. But it, it did use a lot of um, my egg white powder. So that was the only thing that I was kind of disappointed because it is so expensive here in Canada. It's not that big of a bag and I pay $42 for it. But definitely is like a nice treat, but I'm gonna lean towards like only limiting myself to one or two slices per day of the protein spring modified fast bread, whether it be the white bread or like uh, angel of food cake or anything like that. Um, I wanna really concentrate on getting like my protein from the meats or from eggs itself or things like that is kind of my, my goal, um, which, I love meat anyway, so it won't be a problem for me. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.